want to improve at fighting games but don't know where to begin, this video series will teach you where to place your very first steps in your journey to becoming a fighting game god. Showtime! What is Kragalakin everybody, it's your boy Subway Cookie, and welcome to the Fighting Gamers Handbook. In this series, we'll be discussing principles of learning that can translate to any fighting game that you're playing. This series comes from a place of learning, as I'm on the very same journey myself. The Fighting Gamers Handbook is more so a series of notes that I'm learning and applying to my own journey of improvement, with the goal to be able to play like a fighting game guy. If this series helps you out in any way, please click that like button. And if you play fighting games, consider subscribing to the channel for more fighting game content. When playing a fighting game for the very first time, it's easy to get overwhelmed. With so many different games to play, and each with different game mechanics, it can be hard to learn how to get good. On the surface, fighting games look very complicated, especially when watching high level gameplay from fighting game veterans. But by breaking it down piece by piece, uh, the process becomes much easier and progression becomes much clearer. This series aims to break down some of the general principles that you need to learn when wanting to improve at fighting games. The series will take a different approach in that after watching each video, I will be encouraging you to act on the things we have discussed. Although knowledge is power, experience is king. Making practice and training room, uh, and training room your most important tools for improvement. Also, make sure to take time to really take in everything that is being said in these videos, and even applying it into your practice for the week. Uh, now that we've discussed the purpose and format of the series, the rest of this video will be discussing about character selection, or rather, who should I play when starting the game. The answer to this question is quite simple, try everyone out. Now this may not sound all that helpful, but there is a method to my madness. Ideally, get a feel for the game first. Uh, do this by playing through arcade mode or story mode. Choose literally anyone that catches your attention. Once you've gotten a feel for the game, take that same character, or characters if this is a team based game into practice mode and see what each normal button does. Normals are actions that happen when a single button is pressed, or a button and direction is pressed. Play around with these normals, and the character's special moves. Look at how much space the move takes up, and how fast. We do not need to go into too much detail into each move, but just get a feel for the character. If the character resonates well with you, Try them out in arcade. If not, then move on. The key thing to take away with doing this is to see what character or characters you like in terms of gameplay or mechanics. You may also consider watching gameplay footage of other people playing your character, especially if the game has been around for a while. Once again, if this character resonates well with you, then you should definitely play that character. Don't worry about anyone else's opinion other than your own, as choosing a character essentially is a commitment. You'll be spending a lot of time with the character or characters that you choose, so make sure you have fun when playing them. Now I realize this information is quite basic, but I feel that if you take the time to flush out whom you want to main first, then everything else will fall into place quite easily. This week. Your goal is to find the character you want to play with, and I do mean find. Everyone is different and unique, including yourself. So, choose the character where you can express yourself more fully. In the next video, we will be building upon some of the things we have talked about today, such as space control and movement. If you want to follow along with this series, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you will be notified when the next video in the series drops. If this video helps you find your main, click the like button. This is your boy Subway Cookie, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.